Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, and welcome to another pack opening here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. And in this video, we're going to open up some legend packs to try to get a huge legend that's in packs right now. That's 24 hour 99 overall Ray Lewis with absolute insane stats. There's some other legends out right now as well. But this Ray Lewis is the prime time that's out right now. One of the best cards that's been released all year long. 99 overall, as you see, this is the card. This is the cheapest, or this one right here is the cheapest on the market right now. There are three of his Ultimate Legends that are on the market right now. The cheapest being 1.7 million coins. Let's see his stats. I mean, just look at that. Absolutely insane. 103 tackling. Like, that is absolutely ridiculous. Plus 20 to zone D and pass rush is by far one of the craziest cards released all year. It's the Ultimate Team Boss Edition. So that's what it is. 2003 Boss Ray Lewis is in packs. And if I get this, guys, I'm going to go absolutely insane. I've never gotten a special 24 hour card on whether it be Madden Ultimate Team or FIFA Ultimate Team. So if I could get one in this pack opening, that would be insane. We're going to open up three legend packs, which gives us a decent chance at pulling some pretty crazy cards. So why don't we get straight into the legend pack? It's gonna open up three. First one, we're gonna open up with Madden points. The next two, we're gonna open up with Madden coins. So here we go. First legend pack. Let's see what we get. Every pack guarantees a legend collectible or a legend. So I have a three chances at getting a legend at least, and I bet you I get troll with every single pack. But here we go. First card is Kerry Williams, Bengals home uniform. Here we get football outsider Pernell McPhee. Here we get Manny Ramirez, the great Boston Red Sox. <laughs> uh, here we get Jake Matthews and Kurt Warner collectible. So no legend in this first pack. And then Shane Vereen. So that first pack was pretty crap. So when we back out and go jump into our second legend pack. Oh, here we go. Please, Madden, give us something good in this pack. Garrett Graham, Bengals home uniform. We get an elite final edition. Orlando Skandrick, a pretty good pull right there. At least we get an elite. Denard Robinson, rising star, which I hated this card so much. He screwed me up in one of my playoff games from my Ultimate Team series. In like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is that like the ultimate freaking troll? Like, I, I'm, I no words, absolutely no words. And here we get Munoz collectible. I'm not even sure how to say his name. Anthony Munoz. Legend collectible, so no legend in this pack. Can we get another elite? Justin Pugh and then Chief Stadium. So one more legend pack, and then what we're gonna do is pull down to 600k with just regular 7.5k packs. So here we go, last legend pack. So this is really gonna be a legend pack opening, 100k pack opening, something like that. But here we go, let's get a legend in this last pack, at least an elite player. Seahawks Stadium, Matt Khalil. Carlos Dansby, here we get Buster Scrine, NFL Movers, a pretty good card right there, 97 speed, kind of a short four corner, but still a mover card, actually a pretty good card, not sure how much he goes for, 92 overall, former Cleveland Brown, now with the New York Jets, so hey, I'll take that one, but we still have that legend player or collectible out of this pack, Lane Johnson, and we get... Like, seriously, that's the second time we've been trolled in this video. We got two Denar Robinsons back-to-back, -back, and then this same collectible in two straight packs. Like, all the legends or legend collectibles potentially out there, we get the same one twice in a row. Wow. So, we get Honey Badger out of the uh, last card out of these legend packs. So, out of three legend packs, we got three legend collectibles and two elite players. Or we get three, two or three elite players. So we're going to pull 27k worth of regular 7.5k packs. I would have opened up another legend pack, but we have no more purchases remaining. So I can go to the store and hopefully get lucky. And what if we did get that Ray Lewis out of a 7.5k regular pro pack? That would be just crazy. But here we go, first pro pack. Let's fly through this one. And we did not get anything. That was Will Hill. We're in the playoffs, so back out of that pack. We have only three packs, guys. Three packs to get us that 99 Ray Lewis. And Mar Mario Addison fly through this one as well. And we get Team of the Week Jeremy Macklin. Could have been a worse pull. Could have been a 75 Will Hill, just like in last pack. And that will probably be it for this one. 
And let's go ahead and do two more packs for the episode or for the pack opening. Pro pack. Come on, Madden. I mean, if I did get Ray Lewis, I mean, I'm, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. Here we get... Wow. Okay, that's probably actually pretty nice. Tro Troy Palomalu Legend Collectibles probably go for a good bit, if I'm not mistaken. Even though that's kind of a troll, that might be a decent amount of coins back. I'm, I'm not real sure. I mean, I'm, I haven't really paid close attention to the auction for the past couple months. But I guess a Legend Collectible is better than nothing out of a regular Pro Pack. We still have our regular gold or better card. And it is Wes Welker Base. So before we get into the last pack of the video, let me go check real quick and see what this Troy Palomalo goes for. Uh, he's a legend in his own right, just retired a couple of days ago, one of my favorite players. I remember that play just recently where he uh, perfectly timed the quarterback snap count. That was absolutely insane. That was against my favorite team, the Titans. But going into the auction real quick. And also, if you guys are looking for the reviving RG3 series, I'm going to record the episode hopefully tomorrow and have that uploaded within the next couple days. And a lot of people are asking for that. That's probably my most popular series right now. It's just the most difficult to make, but it's going to come out very, very soon. Wow, what an epic troll. He only goes for like... 4,000 coins. So that was an absolute troll. I guess not paying close attention to the auction market the past couple months makes me look like an idiot. But regardless, we have one last pack, one last chance out of 7.5k pack to get that 24 hour Ray Lewis. And let's see if the magic can happen in this last pro pack. Ray Lewis be in this pack. Pretty please, pretty please. I'm begging you. And. <laughs> Nope, that, that, I don't even care about you. You know what? Just because of that, boom, you're quick sold. Any good silvers out of the pack? No, we did not get any valuable silvers that I'm aware of. So we're just going to quick sell this pack. And that looks to be the end of the video, boys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this search for the 99 overall Ray Lewis Boss Edition card. If you got lucky enough to pull that card, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. And you know what? If you guys want a reviving RD3 episode, just drop a like. This video is 100 likes. That episode will be released very, very soon. But anyways, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.